All right, quiet down, please. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet down. Quiet. Shh. Yeah, at the back. Just shh. Quiet down, please. Quiet. Barry, sh sh quiet down. Stop it. That's not what you do with a fire extinguisher. Put it down, Barry. Put it down. Barry, www.wwwwj. What would Jesus do? What would David? WWJD. What would Jesus do, Barry? No, he wouldn't play around with a fire extinguisher. No, he wouldn't put fires out. He would ignite fires. Ignite. No, put the matches down. So don't do what Jesus would do then. Do it. Just stop. Thank you. Good. Quiet down. Okay, so as you know, we'll be leaving tomorrow at six, promptly six, for our autumn youth weekend away. I have a number of notices and an amended set of rules that you'll receive as you get on the coach tomorrow. Please remember when you get on the coach, please remember to buckle your seatbelt. Put your seatbelts on. Have them remaining on during the trip. Well, no, not when you get off the coach. No, you can't have them on when you get off the coach. You unbuckle, then get off the coach, have a little wee-wee, come back on the coach, buckle back up. That's good. Thank you, Brian, for pointing that out to me. Okay, so here are some forms, just some notices regarding forms handed to me very, 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 very late, just a few moments ago. Darren, Darren, your medical form says you are allergic to vegetables and hard work. <laughs> Not quite true. Really, is it, Darren? No, no, just, who's allergic to those? Me, no, um, Darren, you also say that medication you require three times a day are donuts. <laughs> Not entirely true, is it? No, they don't contain fruit, it's jam. Uh, Toby, 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 you have put down as your second emergency contact person, Superman. Yes, Toby, yes, uh, Superman would be very good in an emergency. I understand that, flying down. Uh, yes, and Batman, but uh, neither Superman nor Batman are real. And Batman is less real because he's just a man with lots of money and gadgets. No, Superman can fly, but Jesus is real. Jesus, yes, he walked on water, but he's real. He's the real superhero. He's the superhero we know, isn't it? No, he didn't have a cape. <laughs> uh, Toby, yes, Toby, for dietary needs, you have put, and I quote, meals must not, under any circumstances, include Brussels sprouts or fish with bones. I quite like fish, but I do look a right idiot trying to take bones out of food already inside my mouth, which I have almost swallowed. <laughs> Thank you, what would that look like? Thank you, yes. <clears throat> yes, very good. You've also put, Toby, all meals must include chips and a bowl-based dessert. <laughs> Toby, you'll have a Muller light or a tangerine and live with it. Oh, that reminds me. There we go. Send. Good. Anyway, get that? Yeah, yeah, clear. Clear, what does it say? That's right. If you're reading this, turn off your mobile phone. Good. <laughs> Good. And can I please remind you that mobile phones must be turned off during all of our meetings over the weekend, all of them. I don't want anybody having fun or enjoying themselves in our meetings. Okay, here are the rules. The rules that you'll be receiving tomorrow on the coach. Here we go. 150. No. These carefully amended rules are due to what is now known by myself and the local emergency services as the May weekend away disaster. Rule number one. In May, we had silence between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m throughout all the buildings. But because of all the squabbling, gossiping, and talking that took place during those times, I've decided to amend this rule, and we will now have silence between 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. throughout all the buildings. <laughs> it should create a more peaceful atmosphere for your leaders, and more importantly, myself. <laughs> rule number two. Because the no boys in girls room and no girls in boys room were so frequently abused in May, but of course we do wish Simon and Tammy every success as they embark on their honeymoon. And uh, <laughs> apparently, yeah, they're expecting twins in March. Yeah. Um, but we are imposing a one meter exclusion zone around all young people at all times. It's what I call the pivot and outstretched arm rule. It looks something like this. This is as far as you go. Oh, if you touch anybody in this area, then you're too close. You're far too close. Just stay like this, like this, like this. Ah. Pivot, outstretched arm. Outstretched arm. 
Rule to be. Oh, no, to be. Second part of rule two. Uh, there will also be a no looking rule during the weekend for boys and girls. Girls cannot look at boys and boys cannot look at girls. To ensure this takes place, you will be supplied with specially modified blinkers. <laughs> Can I also say that when we have mixed sex meets, oh, grow up. <laughs> grow up. When we have mixed gender meetings, you will each be provided with a blindfold. If you want to talk to a member of the opposite sex, it, uh, gender, grow up. <laughs> Inform a leader, and they will arrange your seats for you so you can hear each other, but still remain at the specified one meter apart. <laughs> even when you're sitting, even when you're sitting. You see, it works. It works. <laughs> the leader will also sit between you and touch occasionally. <laughs> no, there won't be any groping. Rule number three, no alcohol is allowed at all during the weekend. That includes cider, methylated spirits, grapes, wine gums, <laughs> and of course, chocolate liqueurs, Michel Hartmann. <laughs> and obviously with a zero tolerance rule on alcohol, if any of you should actually join us for communion, you will be sent home immediately. <laughs> Ponder that. No Ribena here. Four, please refrain from kicking, slapping, and punching each other and your youth leaders. Helen is a qualified first aider, but she found it very difficult to administer first aid on herself in May after she told Stephen Baker off for climbing the walls. Literally. Didn't take it very well, did you, boy? Hey? Hey? No bullying, swearing, or name calling during the weekend, but do feel free to do so when we return. Sorry, that's actually a rule to be given out at the le youth leaders meeting this evening. Um, <laughs> rule number five. <laughs> stay with me, stay with me. <laughs> rule number five. There is no smoking during the weekend. This includes anything that might be construed at all to be smoking or smoky, steam, fog, cold breath, <laughs> and of course, bacon. That includes crisps, especially smoky bacon. <laughs> Rule number six, meals and all meetings are compulsory. If you don't meet with us at the quick time, then you will meet with your group leader. If that doesn't sort you out, you will meet with me. And if that doesn't work, then you are very likely to meet with your maker. <laughs> God, God is your maker. I have mentioned that, and I, I, I don't care what Charles Dickens Theory said. Right, rule number seven. Chores are compulsory on the weekend. You will be on a number of rotors, including washing up and food prep, but also leaders' car cleaning, leaders' shoe polishing, leaders' bed making, leaders' coffee making, leaders' newspaper ironing, and leaders' foot massaging. <laughs> Not allowed to do that anymore. Health and safety gone mad. <laughs> rule number eight. Please keep your rooms clean. There will be a room inspection each morning bordering on the scientific. I will be bringing my microscope and my white gloves. The room that is dirtiest will stay in the stable, where I can tell you it is very dirty. <laughs> no, it's not totally out of order, Justine. No, you know, you can spend time in the stable. Well, I know somebody who did spend time at the table. Yes, didn't our Lord spend time in a stable? <laughs> Lord, no, Lord, Lord, our Lord. But who's Voldemort? What? No, our Lord. He spent time when he was a baby. He was born in a stable. I told you that story at Easter. <laughs> Rule number nine, almost there. Rule number nine, get some sleep. Go to sleep, actually sleep. And not that silly pretend sleep you all try when a leader opens your door. We have busy days ahead, and if you don't sleep, then your leaders will come into your room and read aloud to you the building of the tabernacle found in Exodus 36. I told you jolly well, fall asleep. No, no Justin, the Bible isn't always interesting. <laughs> Certainly not the way I read it. Or we will read to you a biography of another unheard of Christian missionary. <laughs> they all want to be famous.
Okay, rule number 10, last rule. Any of these rules are breached, your parents will be informed and you will be sent home immediately. They will have to come and pick you up, your parents. That's the clue. They will have to come and pick you up if you misbehave enough that you have to be sent home. That's right. Oh, it's a long way. Long way, is it, Sally? Oh, too far for your parents to come, is it? Too far for your parents to come. All right, well, I'll tell you what, Sally, if you misbehave, you know what I'll do? I'll jolly well drive to your parents' home. I will pick your parents up. I will bring them to the weekend away. I will put you in the car with them and me, and I will drive you and your parents all the way back to your home. I'll drop you off. I'll drop your parents and you off at your home. I will then drive all the way back to the weekend away. And I'll tell you what, young lady, that will give you something to think about. That will really give you something to think about. No, it's not a silly thing to do. Yeah, no, it's not a silly thing. No, these aren't silly rules either. No, so stop doing that. No, no, I'm going to put, the, put it down. Just stop it. No, look, you cannot be sent home from the weekend away before the weekend away begins. No, you can't be. No, no so stop it. No, 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 stop looking at it like that. Don't, one meter, outstretched arm, outstretched arm. No alcohol. Oh, you're going to love me, have you? Well, I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you, aren't you? That's it. Get lost. It's over! It's all finished! <laughs> oh. Um. Hello, Vicar. <laughs> I just, um, I'd, just encouraging the troops. 